as of late, I've been going on an uphill battle, uh, metaphorically, quite literally. <laughs> I've been suffering from neuroticism, which stems from past anxieties that are uh, affecting my personal relationships today. And um, I've grown accustomed to living frugal now, uh, riding a bike instead of a car, and uh, taking my business cards wherever I see potential. Of course, as you can tell, I have a little buddy here in my backpack. Everybody, this is Pumpkin. Pumpkin, this is everybody. She's a rescue. People who found her, found her in a car, abandoned. And um, they couldn't take care of her. They tried, but they couldn't because their dogs were nipping at her. So they take her to the Humane Society and next thing I know, I'm coming home to a six week old puppy. <laughs> um, that we cannot financially take care of. So, where I'm currently going now, delivering Pumpkin back here to a better family. Family that can financially take care of her. A family that has kids, dogs, and cats. And a uh, big piece of property to where she can live a thorough and happy life. I'm just happy I found a home for her with people that'll take care of her. Um, because all puppies deserve that. <gasps> Stop! What are you doing? <laughs> In this mansion, I'm a collie caulking. A lot of things I do to stay alive. Everything is self collie caulking. So as you see here, this is the genius of XXX Tentacion behind the scenes in progress. Uh, and this video has probably clocked in a little over an hour now. So I know this is going to be big, especially for you guys. I got to make sure the editing is pristine. I got to make sure everything is down pat. I'm also working on a project of mine as well called Alley of Sin, which is a little mixtape that I've compiled so far with just the experiences I've created in hopes that maybe you guys will fuck with it too. But we'll see. So after three days of us sleeping in the car, uh, I couldn't sleep on the third night. So I did a little bit of research and ended up finding Cleopatra Bernard's house where X used to live. So the goal is to go there today and see if maybe I can give her one of these, maybe even a bigger poster and stick it in the front of her yard uh, with the hopes of her scanning the QR code on the poster and watching the video. So when I do this, hopefully she'll be able to see this video, watch it and appreciate it for what it is. And who knows, maybe I'll even get a message from her. For now, we are currently at the Hard Rock Casino over here in Fort Lauderdale. In the meantime, I'm gonna see if maybe I can give these cards to some high rollers. Watch that in your own time and good luck. Appreciate it, thank you. Wow, watch that when you get a chance. Get a chance, watch that. It's really good. Here you go, sir. It's good luck, charm. Good luck, charm. Good luck, charm. Okay, okay. Here you go, sir. Good luck, charm. And good luck, charm for you, sir. Huh? Should probably start saving some of these. There's probably like a good 400 of these and I have like five left. I still have to give some to X's mom and of course X, so. Yeah.
figured this video, uh, both of these videos, weren't going to get as many views as I would have hoped, and that's just because of the hiatus I took, on top of the fact that part one is age-restricted, both videos are demonetized. So, I uh, advised a little plan of a Florida trip, currently in Tampa. I'm going to go promote this video since the algorithm doesn't want to. I'd love to hear some of his music though, if, if you want to send it. Yeah, I'll play, I'll play, I'll play what he just made this night. But I'm confident in my music. I'm just, I'm trying to learn the way a little bit more. Like that's why I'm kind of waiting a little bit until next year to where I get myself more straight and where I want to be in life so that oh. I'll be ready for this shit. Shit, this guy's getting arrested. Like, Cause I'm confident in my ability. Like I really got a gift. I really love this shit. And like, I just want to do it right. I seen an interview, it was like, the most famous person really doesn't have the most uh, freedom of speech. And, of course, like, I seen an interview, and I don't oh know, I'm talking about, I seen an interview, it was your documentary near, near the end of it, and then all it takes is one person, because I'm telling you, X has so many fucking fans, bro. Yeah. That shit's gonna go, I'm telling you, about seven months, bro, I can predict that shit, I'm telling you, I've seen the algorithm work like that so many times. Yeah, it, it's really just a snowball effect, because, I, I mean, again, I wouldn't have the views... I would have had and if I didn't have page. the subscribers. And it's on your page, bro. Your yeah. next video, your next video is only gonna drag people on into that one still. Like, and the video they still got, once they see, because your video is gonna just keep in the hour, and they're gonna, like, I promise you, that bitch is gonna only keep going up. I, I hope so right now, man. I, I, um... <laughs> I printed out and I knew this was gonna happen like I had a strange feeling you know it's been 13 months I'm gonna release this video by this date it's not gonna pick up um as far as longevity as far as like uh just like it, it growing over time I did keep that in mind uh, so I didn't get too discouraged when I dropped it but um I said you know what I'm gonna fucking make a vlog out of this because it's been a while I'm gonna print like Maybe like two to four hundred business cards uh, with X on it that goes to my link tree. Like if you click my link tree in my Instagram bio, you can see what people are going to see when they scan this QR code that's on the back of this fucking um, business card. So I'm going from city to city right now, leaving like hundreds of business cards. Just <laughs> but, but you know what? I've been keeping a very strong mental note of this. And this is something I learned too while creating this video. Um... So the, the SoundCloud era was like the pinnacle of, of underground music. Like that's when underground was really praised. Uh, like I, I want to say from 2016 to 2019. I want to say when Juice World died in 2019 was really the end of the SoundCloud era. And nobody was listening to underground um, as much as they were the years prior. So like, again, like Travis Scott, Drake and all them, mainstream still dominates because, again, it's like a reflection of what people listen to, what the culture is nowadays. Like people are gonna look back on this 20, 30 years from now. So it's important to keep in mind that although mainstream isn't ideal for most people, at the same time, it's always going to be dominant, even if the underground takes over for a little while. Now I'm starting to think, but it's starting to be like too much volume though. Not saying that you need an underground, underground or you need to stay underground, but I'm saying you do need to like, there still needs to be that like, people aren't trying to make that connection that the underground is trying to go for it. Cause I feel like that really, would yeah. make an artist like solidified with not having to worry about uh label having them on the show for whatnot you know exactly but all i mean it, it comes to a point now and, and again like social media has been around for like long enough to where the average person knows what marketing is so when you see right. people market shit especially on instagram 
it feels fake. It doesn't feel like a real connection being made. The labels are good for that. They're good for media output. But as far as like the real life connect, because again, like the brands, people aren't waiting outside in the streets uh, in the cold to, to hear a song. They're out there for the artists themselves. You know, they're out there to see J. Cole, Post Malone, Drake, 21, whoever else, you know. Um, e even Sexy Red, like for example, she, she caters to a very specific group and... As and long as she, so I like her case just because her case is like, it's just so. Weird. She she's like, funny as fuck. fuck. She's funny to me. Exactly. She's funny like, to me. I can't I can't take her seriously, but she's funny to me. I I like her. She's got something going on. It's controversial. It's controversial, but I mean, like I don't have nothing yep. wrong because I mean at the same point it's always like it's nothing that like that hasn't been always her. She just been like it's crazy that I just fuck with it because like she took dedication with the ratchetness and like still made it. <laughs> Right now, Bro, she crazy. is so ratchet, but it works. I just, oh my god, that that's gonna be the baby's first word, ski right there. Um, no, okay, but but another thing is mainstream. You're right. I actually have been thinking about this too. Mainstream, those guys, although they are caring right now, they're also struggling like with like uh, i want to say numbers wise like it seems like the reputation is struggling yeah. and i feel it's because the volume i'm feeling like the, the volume but it's also the density of of the amount of uh fresh celebrities like i want right. to say the early 2010s was like again like the middle children and shit and th those guys were dope like the j coles the drakes and them kendrick's and then 2016 things took like a really sharp turn with like the little guys and those guys were cool but now that a lot of them are older, people aren't listening to their music as much, and most of them are dead, now it's yeah. back on the early 2010s guys. And maybe, exactly. like, some of the little guys in between there, like 21 Savage. 21 Savage has never been bigger. Lil Yachty has never been bigger. But if X was still alive, or if Juice was still alive, I guarantee you they wouldn't have careers like they do now. As far as music-wise, if, if anybody's going to be as underground as X, but as popular as Drake, it's going to take somebody new. Should we play more X? Oh, you want to hear some Drizzy? Or some Travis Scott. You want to hear some Travis? Shit, what we better play? What we better play then? Hold on. We're going to play some Astro World. That's a good idea. You want to hear his new album? You don't want to hear some trippy psychedelic shit? Okay. <laughs> Promise I won't cause a scene. Trying to build trust, showing me a DN, trying to bag you. It's the QC, please. You didn't feel it? Who the fuck even asked you?
so I finally made it to the resting spot of XXX and kind of at a loss for words. Um, just wow, you know, the kid was 20 years old and done so much. This right here, he's, he's just, Harder than I thought it would be, um, being here. You know, since 2017, all the way up till now, it's just, again, a full circle moment that I didn't see ever coming. And it kind of makes me understand um, what taking things for granted means because when you do have that full circle moment, all you can think about is the in-between, the before and after, and you'll never revisit the in-between again, you know? So living in the moment is really what you can take away from this. Enjoying everybody around you, whether it be your friends, family, enemies too, so on and so forth. These are the moments that are gonna make you you and these are the moments that are gonna make your life mean something. So without all of that, what is there? There's just memorials and bittersweetness and um, a longing sadness. And um, I think that's kind of the message he was trying to preach, you know, is, is trying to evolve, to evolve and enjoy the hardships and enjoy the pain and to get out and just live your life and do the things that make you passionate otherwise what would it be for you know this this was not for granted this was not for no reason this was this meant something to to so many people and you know to me too so Yeah. <sighs> Rest in peace, bro. So I'm currently at XXX Tentacion's old house before he had passed, now in the hands of Cleopatra Bernard. Um, it is right across from me here, but I'm not gonna show it on camera just out of respect and out of privacy for her home. Um, you cannot find this house on Google. I had to do a little bit of deep digging to find this place. And um, so I'm gonna keep that private out of respect for her and her family. Um, but I did leave a poster size um, business card on her front gate with a QR code that hopefully she will scan and see uh, leading up to my video of course 
I left her a note as well, thanking her and her son for everything they've done. And um, now I'm heading back home after a long and treacherous four day journey through the Florida back gate. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy I did this. This was a good, this was a good cap to the journey here. Bittersweet, but worth it nonetheless. So thank you for watching guys. I appreciate you. Uh, of course, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I do. Hold on. Sorry, I'm going to adjust this. I don't know how I want this. I don't know if you guys want to see my face or not, but... Stitch, this is my favorite Disney character ever. He's very relatable.